Hey guys, welcome to Red50. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're in the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, we've got some exciting news for the S650 Mustang generation, which will be the seventh generation for the Mustang. It will be out probably around 2024 model year, so Ford should be revealing something very soon. Earlier this year, we had a lot of spy shots that were leaked for the S650 Mustang. We did a lot of analysis on the spy shots. I'll link up all those videos in the description if you're interested in learning more about the S650 Mustang. But of course, it was very heavily camouflaged, so we couldn't decipher a lot of details that were kind of in there, but there were definitely some clues that were revealed from just those spy shots. There was also a front end picture leaked from the sources too. It's kind of very blurry, but it was good to kind of see more information on that Mustang. Now, of course, with all the EV push, we're kind of afraid of what direction Ford was gonna take the new seventh generation Mustang. Of course, Ford is investing heavily into these EV platforms, and we're just not ready to see an electric Mustang just yet. We still want our V8s, and we want manual transmissions. Ford did say that they're gonna to try to keep the ICE Mustang, basic internal combustion engine Mustangs for as long as they possibly can without the regulation interfering. I do expect to see the S650 Mustang having some sort of a hybrid version eventually, if not right off the bat, but that's gonna be interesting to see what Ford is gonna do with that. Now, manual transmission is something that you see less and less in performance car enthusiast car because frankly, automatics are performing better even the manual has better user engagement, the driver engagement. A lot of manufacturers are shying away from putting manual transmission on their car because the take rate is low, even on sports car because of the performance differences we just talked about. So we were afraid that Ford was gonna ditch the manual transmission in favor of the 10-speed automatic transmission. So even if they keep the 5.0 for the next generation, we may not see a manual transmission. Of course, the MT82 is a little bit questionable but Tremec would be nice, which is found in the Shelby GT350 and the Mustang Mach 1. Well, Ford spilled some of the beans on the manual transmission for the Mustang. Initially, they had this reveal to be done on June 1st, 2022, which looked like a silhouette or a cover that's being revealed off of a Mustang. And we were all excited that this may be it. We will see the official S650 Mustang. However, that ended up being a disappointment because all we got was a black action package, which no one really cares about, especially when you make a big deal out of it on your social media. Ford probably realized it. Now, the day after, Ford finally got their stuff together and officially acknowledged the seventh generation Mustang. Ford said they're opening up a new plan where the seventh generation Mustang will be built. That's the first time Ford is officially acknowledging that there is a seventh generation Mustang. Of course, we've known it, because of all the spy shots, but this is the first time Ford is acknowledging. Now, if you take a closer look at this teaser image, there we have it. We have the confirmation that we're gonna have a manual transmission in the S650 Mustang. You see the O in the generation is obviously the manual transmission right there, which Ford is hinting at that it's not gonna ditch away the manual transmission just yet for the new Mustangs. I'm curious to see what Ford is gonna end up doing with which manual transmission to pick. Is it gonna have the Tremec or the MT82? MT82 has been around on the Mustangs for so long. They haven't been that reliable, especially for big horsepower numbers. Although Tremec has received really good reviews for the Shelby GT350 and the Mustang Mach 1. So I'm kind of curious to see, are we finally gonna get a Tremec on just the regular Mustang GTs? Camaros are able to do it. Challengers are able to do it. So I don't see why Ford couldn't justify that cost. It's no secret, I mean, the Tremec is just overall a better transmission compared to the MT82. So if Ford can kinda absorb some of that cost and put it into regular Mustang GTs, it's gonna have a serious performer on its hand. Nonetheless, I think it's really exciting to be getting a confirmation of the manual transmission officially from Ford. We don't have to guess it. We did cover in one of our videos previously that we thought it was gonna be a manual transmission, but there was no confirmation. Here, Ford is pretty much officially confirming that we'll have a manual transmission, which also says that we're gonna have gas engine options for the Mustang as well. We may see an EV Mustang later down the road, but just not yet. And for the S650 Mustang, we're still gonna keep the manual transmission. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very excited to be seeing the manual transmission remaining with the Mustangs, at least for a few more years while we can still enjoy it. And hopefully Ford is gonna make the right decision and go with the Tremec instead of the MT82 this time around. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below what are your thoughts on the manual transmission 
being in the 650 Mustang and for sugar with the MT-82 or the Tremec. As always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more content.